Hey, it's Paul Farmer. How you doing? Uh, this morning, I was awoken with a call from uh, one of the companies that I'm a part of by the owner. The owner of the company he was calling me to uh, talk to me about uh, some of the things I had some questions about. And honestly, I thought that was really awesome that, you know, an owner would call. And I've never even mentioned this company before. Uh, this has been really uh, under the radar. I really haven't said anything about it. But this, this company, uh, you know, I'm really blown away. I mean, I, having an owner actually call you at home, that, that's pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, let, me, uh, let me get to my point here. First of all, I want to say success leaves clues. You've heard it before. Success leaves clues. So, you know, I'm talking to this guy. He has his own high ticket company. He's making very good money. He's doing very well. He's done very well in the, uh, you know, the uh, making money from home uh, niche. And uh, he, he knows what it takes. And, and I have this guy on the phone. Success leaves clues. So I'm picking up some of that information. And I love doing this. I love it when I get to talk to millionaires and multimillionaires that have gone and done things before. Uh, this morning, after my call, I, I started listening to this, uh, Six Figures in Six Months. Now this is the first audio I bought uh, when I came in. I think it was about six months in and somehow I stumbled across Danny Johnson and I listened to her conference call and I was just blown away and I went and bought I bought this and I bought conditioning for success and some other things, profit for success. So I got her book. I got a few different things and I dove in and I listened to this and uh, it, it blew me away right away. I connected right away. And uh, this morning, because I come back to these things over and over, I listen to them more than once. And that, that's a tip right there. Listen to it more than once. So listen to it over and over and over because you're going to keep hearing new things because your mind's gonna be in a different place each time. You're gonna grow, so you're gonna hear more, and it's gonna mean more to you. So now, I'm in a place where I have a little bit of a team, you know, I'm doing some leadership stuff, and something that really stood out to me today when I was listening to this was uh, this part where she tells a story about how she came across her mentor at the time, she had been in her business for six months, falling flat on her face. She was at some meeting and she ends up meeting this guy. He's only like four years older than her, but he's making like 15 grand a month. She's making zero. He's making 15 grand. And uh, she, she said she got mad. And I, I know the feeling because I've been there too. I know what it feels like to see someone else making all this money and you're working your butt off making zero. And uh, I know what that feels like. So I know where she's coming from there. So anyway, she gets the guts up to go and approach the guy and tell the guy, hey, you know what, I don't know what you're doing, but teach me. Show me how to do it. I want to learn. I want to be successful in this business. So she's teachable, right? So the guy tells her, okay, I'll work with you, but there are two conditions. One condition is you need to do, you do not question anything I say, okay? You do not give me suggestions. You don't question anything. And the other thing is you do what I tell you to do. So those are pretty harsh conditions, right? But here's the thing. She accepted those conditions. And because she did, at first, it wasn't good. So the guy puts her on this uh, phone and he's like, hey, read the script, talk on the phone. She bombed, like completely bombed, terrible. He comes at her and goes, hey, you suck. You know, what's your problem, basically? She runs off to the bathroom, comes back, and then she just kills it. She goes and puts in 10 people or gets 10, book, 10 appointments booked and these people show up. She goes on to make $8,000 in four days, from zero to $8,000 in four days. Then from there, nine months later, she made like $45,000. So what's the lesson here? The lesson here is one, you need to be teachable. Two, you need to have a mentor someone that's not going to put up with any crap and just tell you how it is, give you a plan because they've already been there. They've already done that. And you just need to execute it. You need to do it. So what her mentor had her do was no suggestions. So I'm not listening to your suggestions and you need to do what I tell you to do. What happens though with so many people though, is they want to figure it out. 
They want to do the pride thing. They want to do the ego thing. Oh, I can do it. I can do it on my own. I know because I was there. I did it too. And I still struggle with it from time to time. But if you take anything from this, and I took a few things. One is you need to be teachable. You need to follow a set plan. A plan that is proven to work. That's, that's, that's something. But I also took something else from this. And I'm going to wrap it up with this. This is what I took from it. In order to be a leader, you have to have posture. You have to show people like, look, you need to listen to me. If you don't listen to me, there's the door. Okay. And that's how you get respect. Sure. You're going to have people who are going to hate you. You're gonna, and those are the people you don't want to work with. Those are the tire kickers. Those are the people that think that putting some money in a business is going to make them wealthy. It's not going to happen. That's not how it works. You don't put money in a business and think you're going to get wealthy. There is more to it. You have to develop skills. It's not just about putting money in a business. It's not about putting 25 bucks and then expecting millions. It's not going to happen. There is work that is involved. So to me, this is really important to me because you got to have posture. You got to qualify the people you work with. So you can't accept everyone. If you're accepting everyone, you're going to get that. And, and, and this is a mistake I have made in the past. And I've, I'm really looking at this and I'm like, okay, this, this makes sense. I need to bring in the people I want to work with. People that are go-getters, leaders, aspiring leaders that want to make things happen. The, all these other people, yes, they want to make money, but they want the shortcut. There's no shortcut. Stop looking for the shortcut. It doesn't exist. Follow a plan. Follow someone that has done it before, that has proven that it works, and you will reach what you want to reach because it's going to happen. Success leaves clues. So anyway, I'll wrap it up. I don't want to ramble. Uh, these are the things I, I just found very useful. I, I hope you got value. If you did, please like, share, and comment about it. Uh, you can connect with me on Facebook or Skype. I am a real person. Love to hear your story. Love to help you out. But make sure you're teachable <laughs> and, uh, you know, you're willing to do what it takes. And uh, I'd love to get to know you. Uh, with that, make it a great day. See you next time.